And hello, welcome to the stream. Just went live now. If you saw anything before this, it was probably um, a glitch on, on Twitch. It was a Twitch glitch. So, welcome to the stream. Today was pretty eventful. I am doing, um, I'm doing Final Fantasy IX today, and not Minecraft, because Minecraft will be probably tomorrow. It's been a while. I mean, I had my vacation. I didn't really play Final Fantasy IX very much last week. I think, what, once? So, you know, it's gotta happen. We had some interesting uh, video game news today, some indie stuff. Um, Death Stranding pissing mechanics that everyone wants me to talk about, of course. And, um, you know, it was a hell of a day. It was a hell of a day. That PT video I talked about last night. It's right, man. The conspiracies is right, man. Vinny, did you fix your headset? Oh, sure I did. I just wrapped it up in electrical tape. Seriously, it's just wrapped up in electrical tape. Which sucks because it means I can't mute easily um, the way I used to. But my previous headset of the same kind, it was, it was the same problem. So, you know, I, I took for granted how convenient it was to be able to move the headset up to mute it. Uh, Vinny, well, the Final Fantasy VIII remaster comes out in two weeks. Will you be playing it? Oh, God, no. God, no. Could you imagine? Oh, fuck that. I'm gonna need a break from Final Fantasy for a year, at least. We'll talk about the remaster, we'll talk about all that stuff. Anyway, welcome to the stream... ...to the... ...the stream, not Kojima's pissing stream. All right, we're gonna do some more chocograph stuff. Okay, almost ready. I just want to get the map up. Um, we're we're almost ready to make some progress. I think we got we got the new um, chocobo. Hang on. This chocobo is new, it can, uh, cross mountains. Now, I like Final Fantasy VIII. I do. I think I'm probably one of the people that champions that game. I still have problems with it, of course, but it's good. It's got a lot of positives. Notice when they show footage of it. They don't... ...really give you too much. Note that when you see Final Fantasy VIII uh, Remaster, you kind of mostly just see cutscenes and a couple, a couple battles. So, I'm not really sure how I feel about it because, again, it's the backgrounds that need the most work, which is why I'm playing this mod for Final Fantasy IX. Um, I'm glad that it's happening, the models look great, and I hope someone mods it immediately. If it, um, if they didn't fix the backgrounds in some way, or upscale them neurologically, of course. Okay, so I'm looking for a couple more of these things. There's a, uh, Bird's Eye Lagoon is not that far from here, so we can go do that. If you remember correctly, I've been fast-forwarding through the, the side quest stuff a little bit, just to keep, um, some sanity. And, and again, today we're going to make some good story progress, but I, I definitely want to get some of these cho Chocobo Friends, um, treasure found. Because it's, you know, it's hidden, it's there for a reason. Okay. Small beach. Okay. 
Quoi? Small beach. Where is the small beach? It's not listed here. It's a beach on a small island. Did they just not list this one? Have you talked about the delay for Spelunky 2? I have not talked about it. Small Beach is not listed on my um, map here. I mean, in my memory. Finny, who is that on the left banner of the stream? I don't know if it's a great idea to join the Final Fantasy IX streams now, if you haven't seen the rest of them. Because you're gonna get spoiled pretty hard. It's Cloud. Small beach is found on the Mist Continent. Yeah, it's not listed here. Left side of the map below. Um, a lot of the indie games look pretty good on Switch, um, but I'll, I'll say this. This isn't the small beach, is it? No. It's just south of Chocobo Forest, alright. I'll say this, though. Some of the games look great. It's nice that Risk of Rain 2 is coming to Switch. That trailer was, was excellent. Is this small beach? Well, this is not Mist Continent, never mind. Ori looks good on Switch. Um, the Taurus look pretty good, looks pretty good, but, um... That Dungeon Defenders remastered game, or reawakened, or whatever... That looks a little bit... How should I say this? Not great. The performance... Like, the game itself... Looks good. I was just wondering where a Dungeon Defenders game was not that long ago. I really enjoyed that first game before the previous developers fucked it up. But it's a timed exclusive on the Switch, and as much as I love Nintendo, as much as I love the Switch, I don't like timed exclusives. They, they annoy me very much. So, you know, here I am, even a Switch timed exclusive, I'm like, really? And, and the performance looked really bad. I don't know if that was just an early build, or it was... ...you know, a trailer... ...like, trailer funk, or... I don't, I don't know, I just, I didn't like it. So... I hope it's good. I hope by the time it comes out on the Switch, it has better frame rates that are more stable. Hang on a minute, I need a better map for this. This, these Chocobo... Chocograph locations. The map I'm using does not have small beach. This one, however, does have small beach. Alright. And it's right here. That was a really, really strange thing. It was missing that one thing. Oh, it's this. It's this tiny little beach. I think. That looks very tiny. Yep, yeah, this is the smallest beach. Vinny, what do you think of Final Fantasy XV? I... I have no thoughts on it, I haven't played it. Sorry to say. So, what else? Oh, uh, yeah, Final Fantasy VIII. I probably will eventually stream that remastered version. Hopefully, maybe in a year. Uh, you know what's gonna happen. It's gonna release, there's gonna be stupid stuff, there's gonna be bugs, there's gonna be stuff that Square overlooked, because Square does not handle ports very well. Um... 
maybe that's changed. Maybe I should have a little faith in them because lately they've been they've been realizing the importance of their legacy content. I don't know. I, I want to have faith in Square because they're one of my favorites, but we shall see. What I will do is take a nice break from Final Fantasy and then at some point, if that shit gets modded with um, upscaled backgrounds and maybe some other fixes, because it's probably going to need a couple, then maybe in like a year or two, I'll stream Final Fantasy VIII. But remember, Final Fantasy VII Remaster is coming out next year, so that's going to be another Final Fantasy overload. So, I don't know, man. It's man. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I do like 8. I just know this. When I play Final Fantasy 8, it's going to drag. There are going to be parts of that game that I'm going to want to skip or fast forward ahead. 7 is a remake. I know. I know it's 7. Still, it's two Final Fantasies in one year. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me Final Fantasy VII that's coming out next year is, in fact, a completely different version of the game than you said remaster? Oh, well, sometimes I misspeak. I don't know, human brain, kind of stupid. You know, it's, it's Brain Yacht. But, um, I'm eagerly anticipating Final Fantasy VII Remaster. <laughs> no, I'm- I'm fucking very excited for it. The more we've seen of it, the more it looks great, and I can't wait to stream it, can't wait to play it. And yet, Final Fantasy VIII, the fact that they even showed it any love whatsoever, is kinda nice. That's encouraging. It means that maybe one day we'll get a Chrono cr uh, Cross thing, or another Chrono Trigger thing. I, I am not hopeful that we'll get any sequel of Chrono. And after what Square did to Chrono Trigger Resurrection, I have also no faith that they would um, maybe even make their own version of a remaster. Or a remake for Chrono cr uh, Trigger. But it is a game that, that I think people would buy again. So I say, you know, get it on the Switch. Do a two-pack. Have the soundtrack be by Tupac. I think that wi that was Wizzy Kalizzy that did a Chrono Trigger song in one of his songs, didn't he? Didn't, um, didn't he, like... What did he do? He used a sample of, um, the forest theme. S Shala's theme. Is this thing in the water? said the water. Okay. Someone said Astral Chain looks sick. I did see some footage of the open world aspect of Astral Chain, and it looks... It does look great. It genuinely looks awesome. Um, it is a very long game. One of the reasons I liked Bayonet, and as you know, this is one of my weird quirks. It's, it's a streamer quirk. Because you see how long it's been taking me to stream Final Fantasy IX. It's taken two months to get here. And I'm still not done. But, I like games that can be, be completed in a reasonable amount of time that doesn't take me forever. So, when I see that Astral Chain is 25 hours long, that's a really good length for a video game. You feel like you're getting your money's worth. But yet, when I played Bayonetta 2, I was really happy that it was like a 10 hour game. That felt like the perfect length for that. So, 
It's not a long game. 25 hours is actually pretty good, but for a game that I have interest in, but I'm not, like, losing my shit over... Like, I was losing my shit over Dragon Quest Builders 2 for some reason. I don't know why I was so excited, and I, I think that game is... is worth the time it sucked away from me. But a game like Astral Chain, I'm into it. It looks cool as fuck. But I'm not sure I'm 25 hours into it. So what I might do is... I'm gonna wait for it to come out. I'm gonna see how good it is. Um, watch it a little bit. See what it's like. See if, if it's not poop, which I don't think it will be. And, um... Maybe I'll give it a try. Maybe I'll stream it. 25 seems pretty short to me. Fair enough. No, it does. 25 hours isn't that long, however... Remember, these Final Fantasy IX streams have been going on for... Two months, 32 hours. So it just takes me fucking forever to stream games. Yeah, two months. Vinny, that's more of a you problem. I didn't frame it in any other way. That is 100% a me problem. Then he get rid of Trash Sundays. Do you understand if I got rid of Trash Sundays, there would be riots in the streets? Three people, three people at least, would be going mental. But I mean, that's only one more day of streaming to complete all the other stuff. That's not like, you know, that would mean that I, I would have been 38 hours at this point instead of 32 at best. So... Hang on a minute. Um... Alright, I think there's only like one chocograph left. Or two, maybe? Excuse me. I have, um... I have a confession to make, chat. When I was in, uh, when I was in the Jersey Shore, I bought fudge. From Douglas Fudge! It's good, they do good stuff. And... I ate some today. And it was so fucking good. Vinny, I think I saw you at Target the other day. Where do you live? No, I love this. This is one of my favorite parts of the stream. Honestly, I love this. I just, I'm curious. You live in Manhattan. Okay, now, now that is good. If you live in Manhattan, there is a chance. That means that you could, um, presumably see a dude with facial hair and just think to yourself, wait, could that be Vinny? However, you did not see me, in fact. That was not me. I was not in Manhattan yesterday. I was, uh, streaming trash. And before that, I was answering emails and... ...looking through trash. And probably eating a sandwich. Sorry to disappoint. I also, I found out something interesting today that maybe nobody else will find interesting, but there is a mall being built. Has been being built for 15 years. I know, that was good English, wasn't it? Wasn't it? This mall is in East Rutherford, New Jersey, near Meadowlands, so it's right across the river from Manhattan. This mall is called uh, the American Dream, and it is fucking massive. And it, it was just a failure after failure after failure. And finally, they're opening it in October. But, but no, it's really opening. Now, hang on a minute. Yeah, I know. I know. The, the irony. But the point is that they're actually finally opening this mall. Which, a lot of people are saying, wait, you're opening a mall? In the age of online shopping? You sure that's a good idea? But the project started, started in 2003. Now, I want you to hear about this. It's got 500 stores. It's got um, a giant food court with 20 restaurants and a fuckload other restaurants and, like, you know, food. 
It's got an indoor ski resort, like a, like a ski slope, indoors. I was always wondering what the fuck that thing was when I passed it. It's got a Nickelodeon studio theme park inside where Spengbob himself is in there. I swear, this is all real. This is all real. I couldn't believe it myself. Um, and it's got like 20 roller coasters. Um, and a bunch of other rides. It's got a water park, a full water park with like 40 water rides. Indoors. I swear to God, look this up. I'm not making this up. I just found out about this today. I had never heard about this thing. Um, it's got... Uh, a, like a wheel that you could go on. It's got a, a 3D mirror maze and like a fuckload of other things and it's all in just this giant area near the Meadowlands. 30,000 parking spots. Now, I don't know why I find this as fascinating as I do. Hang on a second, everybody. Sorry. Um, I, I can't find the Chocobo stuff. What's the name of this mall? American Dream. Someone just said, can't wait to see someone explore it on YouTube when it's abandoned. I love those channels so much. Yeah, I don't know, um... I don't know where this Chocobo stuff is. This is really bumming me out right now. Can't find the Chocobo footprints. Um... Uh, Dan Bell and Sal has good... They have good channels for abandoned exploration. Vinny, they have a, an ice hockey rink in there, too. Proper people video? I don't remember if I've seen that. Alright, well... Listen, I'm not gonna worry about the chocograph thing now. I figured we would just knock it out. Like, while I was here. Does it have bathrooms? No, it doesn't have bathrooms. That's the one thing it doesn't have. Okay. I'll do this one thing here. And then, uh, we will make progress. Vinny, have you watched Defunct Land? I've- I was, um... I went down a bit of a rabbit hole with Defunct Land a little while back, and I watched a fuckload of their videos. I, I find that stuff very interesting. Abandoned rides and stuff. Does it have a hotel? I don't think it has that. I mean, again, you'd have to look it up. I just did some very, uh... Oh. I can go up there now. I, I did some very surface-level research on it. I read about it, and I was shocked, and I was like, wait a minute, this was being built for this long? Oh god, please. Um, question. I have the locations of a variety of letters for the, the Mog side quests, the Moogle side quests with Moogle Mail. Does that get locked out, or can I do that another time?
it can get locked out. That's not good. Vinny, what were you saying about them ruining Dungeon Defenders 1? I think it was 2. I don't really know the full story. I only played 1. Um, I remember there, there was like a big DLC fiasco with Dungeon Defenders, and apparently the, the developers did not do right by that franchise. So, a different... Um, a different team took it over, and that's why they're doing like a remastered version. like that. Dungeon Defenders 1 got ruined because it changed into the mobile version and was screwed over a ton. Okay. See, I didn't really fully know that. Did I get a chocograph? Yep. Yeah, there's a bunch of new chocographs here. Let me just do a couple more of these. You know how people joke about LaCroix being like... The flavor being next to bananas. Memories of cucumber, or whatever the fuck flavors they have. Well, they're actually... I've talked about this on stream, too, but there is a beverage called Hint. And the idea is just, it's just a hint of flavor. The marketing is like... Water infused with strawberry plus kiwi essence. Like, it's just like, oh, it's a hint. There, there's... There's no actual, like, sugar in here. And, yeah, it's like an echo of flavor. I don't know how to explain it. Weirdly enough, I like it ten times better than LaCroix. It's just water, and it's not too sugary, and it's fine. LaCroix has no sugar. What does it have in it for sweeteners? Is it like stevia or... What do they do with that? Sadness? It's not sweet. LaCroix isn't sweet. Well, it has a flavor. Febreze? Oh, okay then. At this point, I'm suspicious of anything that tastes... It's like, I don't even remember what LaCroix tastes like. It's been years, but... I'm always suspicious, like, oh, they say there's no sugar. But then how do they get the flavor? I just don't know how that works. I'm just suspicious of everything. Marketing is, is very deceptive sometimes. Enzymes. Mm-mm. Love them enzymes. Then there are a ton of artificial sweeteners. There are. Aren't they a lot of them linked to like like cock disease? I remember at, at various points in my life, I was told to stay away from sweeteners for coffee because there's some kind of like you know, they could cause like asshole sickness or or cancer. LaCroix extracts oils from fruit peels. Oh, okay. Super spicy pepper coupos. Precious seasoning long ago. The mist wiped out plant that grows these peppers, though. You should keep it, Koopo. It might come in handy. I got the spicy pepper, everybody. I don't know if... Uh, you got any more chocobos here? 
Sorry, chocographs. I, I just don't know. I guess we'll find out. Vinny, did you see the Mexican restaurant that used twerking Thanos in their advertisement? I did. Vinny, speaking of drinks, have you drank Crystal Skull Vodka by Dan Aykroyd? I like how you typed it, Crustal Skull. But yes, I have. Thank you, Dan Aykroyd, for the comment in chat. You're welcome, Vinny. So many chocographs here. No more. Okay, we got them all. Absolutely no glycol! Robe of Lords. I just need to do a million more of these things and I can get the Robe of Lords. Uh, the Death Stranding stuff today... I don't really know what to say about it, chat. I don't, like, I'm not really sure what to say about it. It's exactly... what it was. You know, it was- it's- it's- it's piss. You can use it as a weapon. I still don't know what the fuck is happening... in that game. But... I- I'm, like, intrigued. Super interested in it, I guess. High mage staff, eh? Where's Veev? Why is Veev not in the party? Oh, right, I was leveling up. All right, well, we'll get Vive later. Which game has the best Moogles? Uh, six, I think. But this game has good Moogles. Yeah, six has like playable Moogles, and there's like a tower defense thing, or um, not really tower defense. It's like, well, what would you even call it? That sequence in the beginning of the game. It's pretty cool, whatever it is. Like it was just tactical, you know. Seven had tower defense, right? Vinny, with dead pepper, you can get broken equipment. Um, how does that work? The dead pepper? Do I use it before I open up the the box, or, or what? I'm not really sure. I don't remember. Cracked walls? Oh, okay. That's how you get into Magnet, right? Find cracks on mountains and then use it. I forgot about that entirely. Also in the sea with bubbles. Like Lucy in the sea with bubbles. Oh shit, strange smoke again. This is good. Uh, 
is a very good thing. Now we can go over the ocean and get everything. Cross oceans! You are getting close to your homeland! Hello, little one! Hello, little one! Oh, ho there. Anyway, hang on just a second. Yeah, now I have Ocean Chocobo. That's good. Ocean Chocobo is good. Um, I don't know if I want to bore everybody by just doing Chocobo only things today. Um, I can go to the Dust Plains now, at least. If I needed to. In fact, I can do almost all of this stuff. I think I can do all of this stuff. Um, that said, I was told to check out a place by uh, Vive's grandfather's house. Because there's some stuff down there, so... It's funny, here I am getting all the best shit from the Chocobo rewards, and yet the next area I have to go to, you can't use any of it. Wait, where, where is, um... There it is. I remember that feeling when you first got that gold chocobo in Final Fantasy VII. You could go fucking anywhere. God, that was so cool. Cool! Wasted a pepper. <laughs> Wasted two peppers. You need to go inside his house for this one? Pepper reminds me of when I was in Atlantic City for that convention last year that I didn't really like all that much and I bought like a a burger that just had one single floppy pepper on top of it that got me sick that was a bad day Sorry about that. Yeah. That yeah, was a bad day. I had to do a convention that my heart really wasn't in. in the, under the weirdest circumstances. Sick from a single floppy pepper. But what can you do? Vinny, what was your worst day? Um... Do you remember... Do you remember that episode of Rugrats, where they introduced Dill? That one. It, it was that- it- what, what did you say, chat? Did you say it was the movie? It was a movie. Looks like there's something strange at the, of, uh, at the bottom of the ledge in the ocean. Looks like foam. Use dead pepper. Uh. It's higher than I thought. 
go for it. Nine ore, 15 topaz, one tiger racket, one red rose card. Oh, I get it now. Get it now, Zadang Dang? Ball with the ball, Zadang a dang diggy. So the boogie said the woogie said up, Chuck's the boogie. Never do that again. Ball with the ball. I mean, he's adult rock now at this point, isn't he? I'm good on the chocobo stuff for now. Why don't we make some progress first, huh? Vinny, don't you think that Zidane looks like Meg Ryan in the portrait? Well, I'd like to thank you for ruining Zidane for me. Yeah, Titus is more Meg Ryan than Zidane. I ruined Zidane for you by making Zidane, which I didn't make, by the way. I don't remember who made that. It might have been Jackal, might have been uh, Nari. I don't. I just don't remember. But re regardless, I did make Tinus. Tinus is my creation. about meat didn't you make meat no I didn't make meat what do you think I made the puppet I make nothing I co-opt You curate? Sure. That's a nice way to put it. I made Blood Bagel. You made Demon Kirby? I did. I drew Bread Breadword. Okay, I, I made a couple things. I Just a couple, not really that much. I'm gonna take Echo here. Echo make good heal. Alright, um, so Viv has this, which has Meteor, which is fucking cool. But I don't think I really can use that right now, huh? I'll show you what I mean. Ibsen's castle is... is wacky. And if I'm not mistaken, that also means that I have to use the weakest weapon. Why no Minecraft Monday? It, Minecraft Monday was never really... Minecraft Monday. It was just Minecraft during the week. Um... I kinda plan on doing it, like, tomorrow. I just didn't... You know, I just didn't have it in me to do it today. Is this the old castle Hilda told us about? What a strange looking place, like it's upside down or something. Alright, I'll take three of you with me. 
The rest of you secure this spot. Secure this spot. Hey, Zidane. What? What's up, Amaranth? I work alone. <laughs> always have. Always will. I don't know why you bother carrying dead weight all the time. <laughs> What's your point? I'm saying working alone beats working in a team any day. And I'm gonna prove it. Hilda said there's some key here to break the seal. Am I right? Yeah. Let's see who finds it first. I'll be going over by myself, of course. Hammerant, you selfish, ignorant fool! Calm down, Rusty. But, but! Just go do it. It's okay. I don't know what you're thinking, but if that's what you want, it's okay by me. Well, aren't you an agreeable fellow? How the fuck does Amaranth's neck work? You see, Amaranth's neck chews the food. His teeth are only there for show. They're like porcelain teeth. But his neck has teeth inside of it, in the esophagus, and it's strong. So it, like, you know, it expands and contracts to chew the food before it goes into the stomach. Well, see you later. Are you sure about this, Zidane? How what can I do? I can't change the way he thinks. Let's get going, everyone. We'll beat Amaran at his own game. If I really wanted to get some nice shitty equipment, I could go back to Dolly, but... I, I might be okay with what I have. Oh, look. They give- I forgot, they give it to you. It's the Age of Aquarius. Eat in the- It's a jolly tune, isn't it? Especially in this context, it's very jolly. Kumul. Yeah, look at all this shitty equipment. Fuck yeah. Well, anyway, this is your, your hint that maybe you should use shitty equipment. The reason weaker weapons are better is because the castle is upside down. It, well, it's mirrored. Vinny, thoughts on Final Fantasy becoming more sci-fi? I don't really care what what it is as long as the story is good and the characters are cool. Like, Final Fantasy VIII is very sci-fi. And I, I like a lot of that. It's been sci-fi for a while, though. I mean, if you look at VI, VI was like the advent of the Industrial Age in Final Fantasy. And then seven was like, modern-ish. And then 8 was future. And then 9 is just like, fuck that! 8, unfortunately though, as much as I like Final Fantasy 8, I do have to acknowledge that the story is beam at times, and I can't... I can't say it's necessarily good story. It has moments. The all, Disc 1 is great in Final Fantasy 8. And there's some really good stuff that happens, some big events. Eight of... Uh, someone in chat just wrote X Final Fantasy X was the beach episode. How fucking true it is. Sometimes the beach episode's alright. You know, Star Trek has beach episode. The episode where uh, Captain Picard goes to Ryza, and Riker gives him the Horcon, which is a statue that 
basically communicates that he wants to fuck. them shitty weapons. I don't know why I have such a soft spot for Final Fantasy VIII. It's weird. I think there was just this ungodly level of hype. And I think I played it at a good time in my life where I was nice and edgy. And the music is great. That intro, I watched. I would boot the game up just to watch the intro and hear the music because it was so fucking cool. So again, it's nice that a, um, a, a like a slight remaster is coming. I'm pretty happy about that. Square even uh, tweeted, "You're the best looking guy here," and then they showed the comparison, or not the comparison, but they zoomed in on Squall's face, and you know what? He didn't look like an ogre. Final Fantasy XIV's version of FF8's Force Your Way. Yep, I heard it. Someone linked it to me. I liked it. We haven't seen Medine yet, right? Or have we? No, I think we have. Terra Homing sounds very familiar. Did you see you're in the Invader Zim comic? Yeah. Yeah, I have it. The artist sent me a copy. Um, Matthew Seeley. It was really cool. I have that. I'm just a cameo. It's like a very small, like, cameo in the background of a Halloween party. But it was like a year ago. It just, there's, it, someone made a tweet and it kind of blew up a little bit today. Also, I'm really enjoying this season of Preacher. Again, it's really sad that nobody fucking watches the show. Because it has some pretty good moments. It, it drags its feet a bit, and I wish it followed the comic a little bit more closely. But, it's been pretty good.
listen, any TV show, it's not just a dinosaur poop show, but any TV show that has Jesus and Hitler in the same show, maybe you should be a little suspect of that show now that I think about it. No, it's it's good. It's just it's it's irreverent and stupid, and also um, there's a one of the characters. I'm I'm not trying to sell the show. You don't have to watch the show. If this turns you off to the show and you're like, haha, stupid Seth Rogen bullshit," I'm fine with that. It's not my show. It's already been canceled, so I don't really care. But but there's a character whose ear was mutilated, and another character whose foreskin. Um, was a vampire, just re repeatedly gets cut off over and over and over again, and they harvest the foreskin to make face cream so that uh, beautiful uh, rich people can use it on their face. Uh, it's made with real foreskin. So they harvest it using a foreskin machine to torture him and cut it off over and over and over again. This is real. This is in the show. And um, at one point, one of the, the villains, his ear is lobbed off, and one of the doctors tries to recreate an ear using the foreskin. And he has a foreskin ear. And he has a slit on the top of his bald head that makes him look like a penis. So, listen, I get why the show was cancelled. I get why there's only four seasons and no one watches it. Don't watch it. It's stupid. But whenever I see that motherfucker with the penis head and the foreskin ear, I smile. Because I'm... I'm Bappy. Someone said I prefer the comic. Of course, I do too. Garth Ennis, as much as I like his writing, I do acknowledge that he can be edgy for the sake of edgy. But Preacher is still one of the best comics I've ever I've ever read in my life. Um, and apparently The Boys isn't as good as the TV show. But... There you go. I kind of wish they did Preacher um, for a streaming service as opposed to AMC. I think that hurts the show. But that's, that's a whole other story. There's a certain combination to get that door open. Okay. Here we go. Pop it. Rest. That's not just how it goes. already. 
or, or a couple of them. There ain't no getting off of this train we on, right? Yeah, I have two already. Or one. Now I have two. Yeah. Get the ancient aroma while you're here. You know, smelly ass aroma. I mean, the Game of Thrones guys didn't even show up. I mean, you pre <laughs> Vinny, before leaving the castle, enter the middle door under the balcony in the castle's first room. Okay. Your Seth Rogen sounds like a cartoon character. Well, that, that's a good thing. That that means that I could use that voice um, in the future, perhaps. <gasps> Did I? Uh oh. Is this too late now? Is it too late to go back? You're late, Zidane. I'm the winner. You're good? Okay, I still want to get that other stuff in the castle. See how much time you lose by working with others. Have you figured out how to break the seal? Take a look at that wall. Maybe you can figure it out. But you didn't win then, teeth neck. But it's no longer my concern. What do you mean? I proved myself right. I don't need to follow you around anymore. You didn't ever need to follow us around. We may be enemies next time we meet. See ya. Ah, who does he think he is? It's his way. We can't change him. Just let's get going. I like how Amaranth did nothing. He just did nothing of worth. He just got to the place and then walked away. You know what? I'm here. I'm going to just do this now. Let's see. There's something written on it. My power is protected behind a tornado. This one, too. My power is protected underwater, surrounded by the earth. And this one. My power is protected high atop a fiery mountain. That means this one, too. My power is protected under the shaking ground. Oh, looks like we got what we came for. Let's go. You were looking at that mirror for a long time. Did you find anything? Like Hilda said, those things on the wall must have something to do with the seal. Let's think about that later. We need to get out. You are a return to me. Who's there? Of course. Energy flow interrupted. Energy to Terra. You dare get in the way of... Terra Master's plan. Terra's master plan, rather. What is this? My name is Tuk. Parkar Pararka Tarka. Return my mirrors. 
You should say please when you ask for things. Fool, you'll regret this. Why is a giant bug like a typical cartoon villain? I will twirl my mustache at you. are going mental again. Oh, shit. Now, Vivi? Uh, I don't know what kind of steals there, is, there are. For, let's find out. I know its name. It's, uh... Ha ha ha. Yeah, there is a pretty good steal here. I'll try not to squandog it. Ow. Oh god, today, not you too! <laughs> I haven't even stole the stuff yet! <laughs> Everyone! Everyone's mental! Here, you know what? We need to... There's one more. We need one more character to be in trance mode. Let me show you. What are you doing on the computer? Go outside, so beautiful! <laughs> Get in there, Zidane. You know you go, you're gonna get it. Steal it. What? Wait, wait. You got the steal? I did. Wait, wait, wait. I got one steal. What? What did I get? Did I get the Orcalum? Orcalum? Chip, dip, dip, dip. You got it. Oh, all right. Well, then this fucking thing is going down. Dick. Ah, oh, he was closed. Still, yeah, again, it's it's shitty weapons that do the most damage here, so. Why not Grand Lethal? I think Grand Lethal was the, um... It's, it attacks everyone. Guard. Steiner's doing some damage here. It's flying, you can't hit it with ground. Oh yeah, I'm a dummy. Alright, Vivi is just gonna do all the work here. We need the boy to do the cleanup.
just use Grand Lethal next time? Okay, if you say so. Double Meteor. Ah, oh, easy. One is all, all is one. You'll never break the seal. Yeah, ha ha ha. I will now return to the first dimension where I belong. Okay, so yeah, I know you want you want me to There's another thing in this castle I need to get. Vinny, did you watch the Star Wars prequel? If you did, are they Jar Jar's doo-doo of quality? I think you're gonna have a real hard time finding someone who hasn't seen the Star Wars prequels. That's a very interesting question you made there. Maybe official Mark Hamill in chat can answer the question. I think if you were a baby when the movies came out, they're gonna have a special place in your heart. That's one. Two, I do think that they are doo-doo a little bit. Yeah, more than a little bit. But I still kind of love them. But I've done the Star Wars prequel discussion a lot, and it's just gonna be familiar territory, so I'll say this. I can rewatch episode one just because it's it's a fascinating train wreck of a movie, and I, I actually really like Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan's stuff in there, but Episode 3 is a genuinely watchable movie, and I can't watch Episode 2. It's tough. It's just boring, and, and I don't like it. Someone chat in chat said, All Star Wars movies are bad, in my opinion. In my opinion, the Jedi are evil! Ah! My point of view! Solo movie seemed kind of unnecessary in concept since who wants to know the backstory to someone who's already Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Well, I mean we we already I think what what was it? It's like a good story you can tell several times, and it's cool because if the story's good, then it's you're you know, you can it's like shake a spear. Shakespeare is told a lot, and people still know the ending to it, and they want to go watch it. But... The thing about Star Wars is, is like, the Solo movie was, was not really... I don't know anyone that really wanted that, and the ticket sales... Not only did they reflect... The disinterest, but... It kind of changed Disney's plans for Star Wars. For example... They're now in talks with Ewan McGregor about doing an Obi-Wan TV show for Disney Plus as opposed to doing like a movie. And I think that's a better idea. I think doing a six or seven or eight episode TV show with Obi-Wan is a fantastic idea because then you can really explore some stuff with the character 
and not just wham bam, thank you ma'am action movie, and then it's over. But, so Solo's failure might be to thank for that, if it's any good. I like action movies too. I love action movies, especially if they're done well. But I, I hope it's, you know, it, listen. The Solo movie was not that terrible. I've said it before, I'll say it again. I was surprised at how much I actually enjoyed it. Because there was no lore to fuck up. Well, there was. Uh, here's a spoiler for the Han Solo movie, everybody. Han Solo's last name is Solo because he's on his own. And an Imperial officer was like, what's your last name? You Solo? You alone? He's like, yeah, Solo! But, but, surprisingly, it had some good moments. It had some good action stuff at the end. It felt pretty Star Wars-y. And it's like a, like a, is this a low bar? I'm not sure. There was dumb stuff in there too, but... Hey, are you okay? Okay, no more Star Wars chat. I'm, I'm sick of it. This is all stuff I've said a million times already. Yeah, that was scary. Maybe we activated the trap when we reached the top. It's pretty clever. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Let's go, they're waiting for us outside. Don't you like how Lando fucks droids? Okay, I'll stop. Nice. What is that? That's an item. Oh, okay. Vinny, do you ever think you'll do another commercial stream? I mean, there's there's some more. There's, um, it could happen. I think we probably went through most of them. Not most, but like a lot of the good ones. Then if you want more commercials, just hit me up, bro. I'll make pack three. If you can get pack three to be as good, then sure. Like you gotta have a high quality pack three. One of the weird side effects of me doing the commercial stream from months after I did part one and two of the weird commercials, I was getting sent commercials. Which is fine, I mean, that's just how life is. People see the thing, they want to, you know, participate, and that's cool, but it was also... It was weird, like, every day was a new commercial. And most of it had nothing to do with video games, too. There were a lot of really, really weird ones, like Huggies from the 90s. Warheads! Shit like that. Mario got milk one, that's classic. I mean, advertising is kind of fascinating. Jack White wanted to do, um... a jingle for McDonald's, I think. 
just because he said he was he was interested in the money. Oh, I mean, in the challenge of having to write something that lasts 15 to 30 seconds that sticks in someone's head. So making an advertisement that explains what the product is, provides some entertainment, and sticks with you, that shit's gotta be hard. Or you can just do none of those things and make a terrible commercial, or you can do one of those things and make a bizarre commercial that has nothing to do with the product. Or you can be Satan and make 1877 cars for kids. 1877 cars for kids. Donate your car today. Only Satan could come up with a commercial so devious. second. I have to move them counterclockwise. Someone said, when will the next shovelware showcase be? Well, I want to explain a little trick to me, which is, I, I plan no further than a day or two in advance. sword. Ancient aroma. Did I get what I needed? Is that everything? The stink of this ancient aroma. Vinny, do you still get people asking when corruptions are as much as it seems like you used to? Not so much. Corruptions are still probably one of my most popular things I do, but, uh, people used to be like Vinny when corrupt pretty much all the time. But now... No. Just, just, uh, once in a while. But again, I limit my purview to these things. I, I mainly see... One, I limit my social media, so I don't even see a lot of that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And a lot of what I see is just in the chat, and I miss 90% of the chat anyway, so... Hey, sorry to keep you all waiting. You win, Zidane. You came out first. Wait, what? What happened to Amaranth? He was waiting for us at the top and left as soon as we got there. I thought he took off. Is he still inside? You guys wait here. I'm gonna go look for him. God damn it, Amaranth. Do I have to go back for him? Uh... This is also kind of dangerous. There's dangerous enemies here, and Zidane's like, I'll go in alone! 
our party almost wiped. Well, not really. But, you know, we it was, dang, it was dangerous. It was dangerous. Uh, who's there? I got a cool skill that I can use on these enemies. Flee. Alright, hang on a second here. Just a second. I've been informed by Twitch, this is very important, that there is a Dota 2 TI9 main event starting today. Ah! Did, did I miss Amaranth? The room with the pole? He was invisible. Oh, here he is. Who's there? <laughs> Dane, why did you come back? Amaranth, what happened to you? Answer my question. I told you we might be enemies next time we met. Or... Did you come back to mock me? You say some strange things. The guys outside told me that you hadn't come out yet. That's why I came here looking for you. Yeah, we don't have don't have anything to do with each other anymore. You don't have anything to gain from this. Or do you? I don't understand you. I don't understand the way you think. Who cares about what I have to gain? You need help right now. You don't care? You're willing to put yourself at risk to save me? Come on. We've helped each other many times since we joined forces. You're a part of the team, that's all that matters. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I just can't walk away. It goes against my nature. And that's what being a part of the team means? I isn't it? Come on, that's enough talk. Let's get out of here. Aw! Friendship? I think Amaranth just never had a friend. He had Lonnie? Well, Lonnie wasn't even all that much of a friend, if you think about it. They were kind of rival friends. That Lonnie Donegan. I knew when I hit that enemy's buttocks and I missed that I had to get out of there. And that's when I decided to run as far and fast as I could with my new friend, a good old Toothneck. Listen up, everyone. Let's sort out what we found in the castle.
Man, not having a mute is... is weird now. I, I, having the mute on the headset was excellent. Because I could, like, like gob, and I could, um, like, snort, like, make snort noises. You know, not, not actually snort anything, not like sugar or anything like that, but... I could just gob and make snort noise. Plans to get a new one? Oh man, I don't know. Yeah, like, sinus clear. On top of this castle is a mural. It's a map of the world. There were four mirrors on the mural. The writing on the mirrors was in the language only I can read. My power is protected under the shaking ground. My power is protected behind a tornado. My power is protected high atop a fiery mountain. My power is protected underwater, surrounded by the earth. You know what? I think there's shortcuts on XSplit. Let me see. Hotkeys. Toggle mic. So I'm gonna do a sh um, minus. Let me let me try this. Subtract. All right, everybody. Let's see if this works. E. Ba -ba -ba the jets. Did it work? How about this? Ah. Uh, uh. Uh, uh... Okay, cool. Well, now I can just mute by pressing one button. So that's good. If I need to, if I need to gob, I can just go... Mm, you didn't hear that. No more gobbin. New boot go gobbin. Sure, the mirrors are pointing us in the locations that'll help us break the seal. Sorry, uh, Final Fantasy IX lovers. People here for the game and not for me. I appreciate you too, but you know, I gotta sometimes talk about my stuff. Alright, so what do we do? Are we going to take each location one by one? One is all, all are one. We're going to conquer all four locations at once. We're not going together like we always do! No. I'm gonna drop us to... Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna drop off, off two of us in each location. I can read. I see. So, hey, I'll go with Garnet. What? Why? It's called Ladies First, Zidane, and we girls have things to talk about. Uh-huh. Is that okay with you, Garnet? Sure, but... Where, where are we going first? Well, the nearest location would be... Well, one of the locations you mentioned is just south of us. Oh, you were listening to us? Uh, I've been a sailor for a long time. I'm confident in my sense of direction. My power is protected underwater, surrounded by the Earth. The location must have something to do with water. Why not go there first? All right. Thanks for your help. Please don't hesitate to ask me if you forget your destination. And please remember to equip yourselves properly while we while we are on board. You can relax, buddy. You're beginning to sound like someone I know. Steiner's like, huh? All right, Aaron, let's go. Yes, sir. Now departing. Goodbye, Amaranth. shit first. There we go. HP plus 20%. That's the good stuff.
Oh, this is just a, a knife. This is what I stole from the monster. It's way better than the rune tooth. Or the, yeah, of course the rune tooth, but also the Sargantanas. Yeah, that's not a knife. I think the song is hitting the limiter. Let me check. Yeah, a bit. Like the tom hits where we're hitting it. Hmm. What do you need? good. So, I could do more Chocobo stuff. <laughs> we got this big story ahead of us. I'm not doing the Chocobo stuff now. Fine. I love this enemy. Holy fuck do I love this enemy. Again, that's cats. It's just cats in a house. It's not a knife. Yep. Yeah, it's a knife. Come right then. Destination unknown. It, it was supposed to be south of that location. So yes, yeah, Spelunky. I forgot about that. Spelunky 2. Many days have gone by. I haven't commented on it. And uh, Derek Yu has delayed the game. I think I com. Wait, did I? Well, it was delayed until next year. If I if I've spoken about this already, then I guess you know stick a fork in me, but. It looks a little better. They're adding a passive detail, which is needed, because Spelunky 2 is cool as it could be. I don't think it has lived up to its potential. And the fact that they're going back and, and adding a, like, a, another passive detail is great. Shit, I can't find it. Then there's Minecraft RTX. Sorry, I'm not very good at explaining things. What's our next destination? South of Ibsen's Castle. Right, okay, just south of Ibsen. So the reason I played Minecraft in the first place was because of the new uh, graphics card that I got. where I was like, oh, I want to see what ray tracing would look like. And there were a bunch of third-party, you know, shaders that did it, but some of them didn't work so great, and some of them were a little weird. But anyway, now it looks like they're doing a full... Oh, here we go. A full version. They're doing their own NVIDIA RTX version, I think for the Bedrock Edition. And it looks good. I don't know if it looks as good as the stuff I've been using for my own personal tastes, but it, it does look good. And, um... RTX is bedrock only. Fuck. But I'd like to check it out at some point. I'd probably... The save won't be compatible. Maybe I could start a new one by the time it comes out. And we can just check it out for like a stream or two. So... Are you going to be okay by yourselves? You're the one who suggested we split up. What? Don't you trust me and Garnet? It's not that I don't trust you. Huh! You just wanted to pair up with Garnet. 
You better get going. We need to take all points simultaneously. You're right. Where are you going next, and who are you going to drop off? My power is protected high atop a fiery mountain. I think I'll ask Freya and Amaranth to take that location. All right, now get going. Don't make us ladies wait. I'll be back to get you guys soon. Well, now that the men are gone, we can do all the girl talk we want! She's... Girl talk? She's like six. <laughs> so weird! Okay, sorry. Um, they're both healers, by the way. Healers and summoners. So, why does he have a tail? That's the first thing they're talking about. I know it. I thought you asked him why he had a monkey tail. I don't know why he has a tail. We're going to overheat. Just a little closer. Today, the heat is going to kill the engine if we get any closer. Okay, when we get closer to the volcano, you two head for the shrine's entrance. Ugh, why do I have to go with her? Oh, sorry. Did you want to go with Aiko? Good luck. Alright, our next destination is... Protected behind a tornado. Pairing up Steiner and Queena seems like a bad idea. I think I'll ask Vivi to babysit Steiner. Why are you burdening Freya leaving this asshat with her? I like how he complains about her, and she's just fine with it. He is the asshat. She knows of her duty. The flaming ass hat Morant. Um, southeast of Oil River on the Forgotten Continent. The wind is strong. It's the wind shrine, so it's protected by strong gusts. Be careful not to get blown away. There is no need to worry, Master Vivi. Just follow me. Oh, okay. See, there is nothing to fear. Really, <laughs> Master Vivi, you're okay because you're wearing armor. Let us move forward, Master Vivi! Are they gonna be okay? But I'm with Queena, I should more worry about myself. We should check our equipment and see what blue magic Queena can use. The power is protected under the shaking ground, huh? Give them auto float? Well, I only have auto float for one of them. We all float. Now 
down here Douglas we all float right down here So there's a, a video. Someone made a little animated video. Two people, a little collaboration. And it's a little animated video about my collaboration. With She Says. I'll show it um, just before the break. You can add Earth Absorb to Zidane. Okay. Well, let's get going. Ah, it's a date. You want to go with me? Well, I sort of got stuck with the leftovers. You no have to explain. I'm so happy. Huh? They're an old saying in my tribe. Leftovers, good. Let's hope we find good things in this cave. It's probably full of good food. I mean... Yeah, that's that's right. Actually, that's pretty good. Positive attitude. What what did I need for Zidane? Ah, oh, whatever. Zidane's overpowered anyway. There's no one here. It's empty. Yeah. Huh? What wrong? Did the ground just shake? We need to jump at the right time. We no make mistake next time. This place is empty. It's too quiet. They probably got scared of us and ran away. I hope so. Ah! I hate it when you fret like that. That's why I always worry about you. W what are you talking about? Oh, nothing. I just have a lot of things on my mind. Look out! We almost flat like pancake. I hope there aren't too many more of those. Darn it, please be safe. What the? It's a trap, be careful. Let's go, Echo. Aha, it's a place to put mirror. Place the mirror right here. I've been waiting for you. Hmm? That was too easy and must have been disappointing for you. Now I'll place the mirror here. Freya, step back. The hell? It's just as Kuja said. He said I should expect intruders. Are you under Kuja's command? He not good person. Why you work for him? No. We are the guardians of Terra. Guardians of Terra? Yes, we are the guardians of Terra, filled with the power of Terra itself. What is Terra? We did not become guardians to chat with mortals. We derive pleasure from ending your worthless lives just to prove how powerful you are. So you understand, but will that knowledge help you? Foolish. Why, ah. Picking fights with strangers in a place like this? I used to know someone like that. He was a loser. He refused to find beneficial ways to use his power. Instead, he'd seek out people to fight. 
But why are you... Oh, it's him. But why are you telling this to a snake? Amaranth. What? What are you talking about? We'll show you what he means. Interesting, but you'll regret this. Finished already? Such weaklings. You... He's too fast. I can't target him with my magic. We can't take him on with just the two of us. Master Vivi, a true man, never gives up in a fight. But... We can defeat this monster if we work together. So, which one of you will perish first? Silence! I shall vanquish you! Wow, what? Master Phoebe, I shall attempt to hold him down. You tickle him. I mean, you attack him with your magic while I hold him down. But what if I miss the target? I trust you, Vivi. Ah, okay. <laughs> Kuja told us there'd be eight rats. Sorry, it's just the two of us. Did you have a feast prepared? You no worry, we eat everything. Ah, so you're attempting to conquer all four shrines at once. How futile. We'll see about that. Must try eating before we give up. Fucking Queen of Please. What will you lower life forms do on Terra? We won't know until we get there. Must eat to find out what tastes good is my lesson from traveling around the world. Good. I shall show you the true meaning of fear. I like that everything that Queena has to say it has something to do with food, even when angry. Anyway, yes, Avenger. Clown out or unsub. All right. There's really only one more steel. It's uh it's just a rubber suit. Whatever that is. Ah. Well, alright, well I got it. Bad damage. Ah, right, get the gift! Chat says you can eat it. I I will I will bet that you cannot eat this boss. That's my guess. Eat for good spell. Really go. All right, I'll I'll try to eat. I told you Zidane's a little overpowered at the moment. I can't 
can't believe it. I can't believe it. I was wrong. I was so bloody wrong. All done. I wonder if everyone okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're waiting for us by now. Right, we go back to airship now. Fresh air, finally. Today is unbelievable. Asking us ladies to fight a monster like that. Oh my gosh. What's wrong, Echo? Oh, I completely forgot. <laughs> and we're all alone, too. What? What is it? Um, there's a question I need to ask you. It's about Zidane's tail. Does it always move around like that? Oh, I've been waiting for a chance to ask you for the longest time. Give me an honest answer, okay? Well, you have to ask the question before I can answer. Do you love Zidane? Uh, what? what? Why? Why? You have to answer me. Do you love him or not? Hey, it's the airship. Zidane's back. Did you just say something, Garnet? Let's go, Aiko. Hey, wait, that's not fair. Well, now that we've got everyone, we can head to the Shimmering Island. Hey, Amaranth. I didn't know you were here. So, we'll go to Shimmering Island, then to Terra. Yeah, it's near Estogaza. It won't take long. Tell me something. What motivates you to do this? I, I don't- I don't know. I really don't know. You don't even know why you do the things you do? I didn't say that. I, maybe I do it because I, I don't know what motivates me. I, to understand something is interesting, but what's already understood is boring. I'm sure we'll understand something when we get to Shimmering Island and go, and go to Terra. I'm beginning to understand why he won, and I lost. No, no you're not. That, that, no. I lost against his way of thinking. But no! That, no, that doesn't make sense, Amarant, and you know it. Zidane said nothing of value just now. That was like, great value, America's choice, Zidane. I don't know what I know, but I know that I know it because I do it and because that's what I want to do! Wow. This guy's a philosopher. Mr. Zidane, I'm showing abnormal readings. Feels like the ship is getting sucked in. Zidane, it might be dangerous to keep going. Are we gonna bust in the- in the- on the airship? <laughs> All we know is that this is the entrance. I heard the people of Estogaza call it the Spirit Road. The path that leads souls to Terra. Maybe it's a teleportation gate, like the one in Kuja's hideout. Mr. Zidane, we're going to get sucked in. What shall I do? Well, what now, Zidane? We may not be able to turn back. Let's pull back. We need to get equipped before we go. Okay, so this is the Moogle stuff has to be done here. That's a shame. Um, the next bit of story is really good. But yeah, this is like a big side quests point where you you really kind of have to do everything. Are are you actually going to fix Magnet? Uh, I don't know. Hang on a minute. I got um a guide here for what I'm missing. So let me take a look.
just a second. Magnet. Okay, I haven't locked myself out. Just keep buying deals from Stiltskin. Um... I'm only going to play this for like another 10 minutes before I go to Mario Maker 2. So please be patient with me for a moment. Isn't this the Magnet continent? Yeah. I think I need a pepper for this, right? You gotta respect the paper. I mean the pepper. All right, now the thing about this is, I could do all that now, but I have to get pepper, which means I also have to go to Chocobo Lagoon. Um, anyway, I do have a bit of a guide, like I said. Where is Chocobo Lagoon? Where is this fucking thing? There it is. Oh! Oh, Bubbles! I just found Bubbles accidentally. Um, okay. Chat, remember this location. This exact location. If only I didn't waste several pepper. Someone said, okay, I wrote it on my hand. That's good. So, I'll get the peppers. Um, I have a couple deliveries that I know I can't do. Some I'm locked out of, but most of them I can do. You look dirty, Koopo. It's not a nice thing to say, meme. Did I hurt your feelings? I'm sorry, Koopo. Well, it doesn't matter what color you are, Koopo. You're still my chocobo. Water over here. There's only two Chocobo dig locations, right? It's just this forest and the lagoon, that's it, right? I thought there were more. Three? Technically three? Oh, okay, yeah, there is a third one. That's right. Third one's a bit of a spoiler, though, ain't it? But yeah, the next part of the game has really good music, and the story starts to coalesce and congeal, and Amaranth gets even more development. Zidane burps, and Amaranth is like, oh. I understand. This power. I lost because I have a different viewpoint than him. His is clearly better. Yeah, I mean, as a character, Amaranth leaves a little to be desired. I don't really get it. But, as a fighter, Amaranth is actually kind of a fun character to use in your party because he's got so many weird abilities.
Vinny, did you hear about Everspace 2? Wait a minute. It wasn't Everspace 2. They were- they're doing a- it, wait, 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 wait. Did they confirm Everspace 2, or is it a different game? I thought they were making another space game. Oh, but it's just called Everspace 2. Oh my god. I'm going to lose many hours of my life to that. I've been tempted- I actually played a little No Man's Sky, and I didn't really do too much. I tried to build solar power, and I just failed. Like, for some reason, the solar panel is not buildable, even though I learned it, and I got all the materials for it, and I followed the fucking tutorial for it. I, I don't get it. But... Yeah, Everspace is, is a special kind of addiction. Everspace is, is fucking amazing, so Everspace 2, I'm sure, would be... would be great. Okay, we got all the chocographs here. Uh, you can use some dead pepper. I'm gonna do... Have you seen the trailer for it? No, I didn't even know there was a trailer. I just knew that Rockfish was making another space game. And I didn't know it was Everspace 2, but that's really great news. The Switch version of Everspace was... ...pretty... It was a decent port. It got better. It was one of those ports that... ...you knew you were gonna get some crust, but you play it anyway because it's portable Everspace. But then they patched it a couple times and made it... ...better. So that was cool. But... I think around the time that came out, I ended up playing a bunch of other things. Um, though I just remember, like, losing hours to that game. Speaking of Switch ports, The Witcher. So, there's some more footage of The Witcher. There's like 40 minutes of gameplay. And, I gotta say, it looks better than I expected. I'm not saying it looks great. I was expecting, like, dog shit. And, if you watch it, Predictably, in really, really, really busy areas, the performance suffers. But, from what I saw from the footage, yeah, it looks surprisingly competent. I'm not gonna be double-dipping. Someone said low-quality port of a game from years ago. It's- it's high quality. Sandals? Did I just find vacation gear? I mean, it's easy to say that. It's actually a high quality port. They're putting work into it. It's just on a very underpowered system. That's the real issue. They did put the work in. They did try to make it something that could, you know, work well on the system. It's Portable Witcher. I think that's the easy thing to dismiss if you don't have a Switch or if you don't care about it. Fair enough. Not gonna fault you for that. Um, it's also easy to dismiss these ports, but... Uh, this game came out, what, three years ago? And the fact that it's now portable... It's kinda cool. Four years ago. I would never recommend getting the, uh, the Witcher if you're gonna play it on your TV. Like, don't get it for the Switch if you're gonna do it like that. That's foolish. Don't be foolish. But if, if you're really looking to play a game, you know, portably... I mean, why not? I just, I'm not gonna do it. Though, again, the footage that I saw today of... ...the port, I was like, I kinda, I was like, kinda surprised. I was like, hey, this doesn't look completely terrible. So, anyway, um, hang on a minute. So, we did get... Hawaiian gear. Straw hat. Wait, oh, it's just to make the game harder for yourself? I guess? Al Al Aloha t-shirt? I believe it's because the game was developed in Hawaii. 
Oh yeah, there's a little making of video that I saw recently. And that, they did mention that, that it was made in Hawaii. Strange, right? The Witcher 3 is an odd choice since its graphical fidelity and amazing draw distance was one of the major selling points. Yeah, I mean, it, they found a way to do it. They found a way to do it. I mean, maybe they'll figure there's people that are just, you know, play it for the story. Or whatever. I agree, that game... Part of the reason I, I loved it, and I didn't finish it, I only played, like, what, 10, 15 hours of it. And that's my own damn fault. I could have easily did everything in that game if I had, if I was, I don't know, put a little more effort into it. But people will buy it, they will make money. There's this culture of everything has to be on the Switch. Which on one hand, like, sure, you know, get stuff on the Switch. Skyrim on the Switch worked fairly well. It was Skyrim, it didn't look terrible. So there, you know, there's utility to having games portable. And, uh, there's money. Anyway, this is... Magnet. The grown-up Moogles don't know what to do because the equipment is broken. This is Magnet Central. I wonder if Magnet will go out of business, Koopo. I love this music. I wonder if Magnet will ever be the same. If only we had that item. I shouldn't have used so much of it on myself. I only did it because it makes my coat so soft and shiny. But after I used it all up, the gear started to grind. You know, you know what really grinds my gears? Switch ports will almost, will always be bad. It's not built to handle games like that. It does a lot better with cartoony Nintendo styles. I can, I can rip that apart a little bit. Cartoony Nintendo styles. That's a hot take and a half. Only cartoony Nintendo styles can work. No, if you spend your time and resources making a game for the, from the ground up for the Switch, even if it does have, like, high levels of gore and realism, you could make it look good. It's just a matter of, like, starting it, developing it for that equipment, for that, that hardware. Vinny, you're taking the bait. I'm, I like this bait. I want to eat it right up. I want to eat it for you right on stream. But what I was going to say was this, actually. Cartoony Nintendo styles. Look at Astral Chain. That game looks beautiful. That is a good Switch game. The problem is, even if it was bait, there is some truth to it. And my biggest frustration with the Switch is that at this point in time, I wish it was more powerful. I really, really wish it had better hardware. They just released this one with the battery life doubling, um, you know, has better power consumption, so it, it like, effectively doubles the amount of, um, battery life, which is cool. But, you know, then it's like, uh, well, do we do a mid-console cycle upgrade? I think the Switch kind of fucking needs it. This would be the one time where I would advocate for that exact thing, I think. <laughs> Mist Ocean unlocks final form. Let's do it. Vinny, do you think it would have been smart for Nintendo to go 350 or 400 for better hardware, though? 
no. No. I think they made the right choice to keep the price down because the system's been a runaway success for them compared to the shit they went through with the Wii U. Um, with just terrible marketing and confusing technology. And I think the price, the selling point of the price was a big one, so... But now, you know, two years after, the, two and a half years after the Switch came out, it's, it's, you know, sure, it's still portable, and I love the portability of it. I love the ports that are coming to it, if they're good, if they're really, you know, worked on and put into a long development cycle. Anything that Panic Button does, for example, like, yeah, give them every port. That's the joke, but the truth is, I'm starting to wish the system was more powerful. And I hope that, um, Switch 2 in another two and a half years, or whatever the fuck Nintendo does next, is also portable. I hope this is the MO from here on out. I hope that Nintendo's thing is portable and TV. Both. That is a very good... That is a very good thing for them to do and focus on. And, uh, also they need to make a better dock. I hate the dock, and I hate that it scratches the screen if you're not careful. That dock is fucking beans. Oh, there, young one! Wanderer, we await your return! You now have the ability to fly the boundless sky! You can take off and land in any forest! You now have all abilities necessary to reach your homeland! It's a different voice every single time. Vinny, the new Switch comes with an updated dock. What do you mean? Updated dock. How do I fly? It doesn't come with an updated dock. It comes with a better... Um, it... It has a, uh... It doesn't even have a better battery. The new Switch, it just has better, um, power regulation. take off and land from forests, okay. Alright, so, next time I play this, I'll, I'll do the rest of the Chocobo stuff. I will do... Magnet as much as I can. Oh. Wow. I can go everywhere. And, uh, then we'll go to Terra, which is a really fucking cool part of the game. Grimo to Nanza? I have to go to the South Gate rest resting area. Crusting area. Um, where is that now? The South Gate. Let me do that last thing. I mean, I, I love Mario Maker, and I don't like shafting it too much, but a little bit of shafting, considering how many times I've streamed it. So the Southgate resting area. Okay. Cars aren't operational.
Nanza may have been the Moogle near the Bunt Cake, which can't be reached anymore. It says here, just keep buying the deals from Stiltskin. Um, I took note of the letters. Grimoto Nanza. Nanza is a Southgate resting area. We'll give you the letter to Mochos. Mochos is in Gargan Roo Hatchway. You can't get back to Gargan Roo, so you can throw that one out. Mopley to Sereno. Sereno is on the Red Rose. You can't get back to the Red Rose, so you can throw that one out. Um, okay. The one I can do is Mulan. M Mulan to Magtaka. M Magtaka is in Mount Gulag Passage. This one you can do. So I can only really just do that one. Never mind then. Alright, so next time, remember, chat, Mount Gulag. <laughs> I'll just, I'll, you, you can be my notepad. Next time. But yeah, the side quest stuff, aside from- I don't know how much Moogle stuff I have to do, but the Chocobo stuff is almost done. You don't need the old letters to fix Magnet in Disc 4, so I don't have to do Magnet next time. I can just do that after Terra. Maybe do Chocobos first, then do Magnet. Okay, that works. Well, next time- next Final Fantasy IX stream is gonna be interesting. Alrighty. Well, thank you. I'm gonna show you not more weird. Weird. We're. I'm not gonna show you that, but I will show you this collaboration video. And then we'll take a quick break. And then there will be Mario Makers. Let's hope this video is good. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I've only seen like Dude, the first five minutes of it. You know, the first, the, all of it. No, <laughs> first five seconds. So this is, um, this is going to be new to me, but this was when she says and I collaborated and this is a collaboration between Titania and Super Metal Penguin. Dude, hit me up with some of your uh, Super Mario Super Show impressions, please. I love this Eric Andre show set. Very nice. Give me a little bit of a premise and maybe I can hit you with something. <sighs> okay, all right. I'm going to do like a really bad Toad impression from the Super Mario Super Show. Hey, Mario! Yeah, Toad, what's going on? Why am I in Super Smash Brothers? <laughs> God damn it, Toad. I told you a thousand times. You're not special, Toad. Every Nintendo game these days is just Toad, this Toad, that. You got a blue Toad, you got a red Toad, you got a green Toad. You're not special enough. Not even Captain Toad could make it into a Smash Brothers. Well, I mean, Mario, you kind of got a green Mario, so I... I don't know what you're trying to uh, say here. Hey, what are, you, what are you talking about? No, 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 I'm a separate... Uh, I'm a separate person. Also, I'll show you, you are, Luigi, no problem. <laughs> You're my favorite Mario, don't yeah, worry about it. Don't worry, Luigi, I promise you're not just Green Mario. I swear. On, on Mama Luigi herself, I swear. What is that? Oh, God. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. I, I like Vine Sauce Animated. There's the link in chat. Very nice work there. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. Once again, Mario, well, Green Mario and Red Mario up next. And Yellow Mario too. Okay. All right. Now we can do now we can do music.
which music do I want to do? Do I want to oh, do I want to do King Gizzard, Perihelion? Oh, it's gonna get a little heavy. 